Welcome everyone. So today we are going to figure out what is the value of 1 upon 4 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.3 equals 3. Okay. So now I'm going to show you two methods. One method is very basic which a lot of people can you know like should know. This is like a basic step if you are like someone who is trying to practice math or you are just getting introduced to math or you think you've forgotten math then I recommend you to follow this particular method okay and the next method is something which you can do orally okay or rather in at least at least in one single step of addition okay so now what we'll do is whenever there's a decimal you write it in form of fraction so this will be what eight now divide by will be what this point stands for one and then how many zeros there will be number of zeros which will be the num number of digits followed after the decimal point so here in this case is it is 10. So if it was 0 0.008 then it would be what 8 upon 1 standing for your decimal and how many digits 1 2 and 3 so 1000 or other 3 zeros at the end. I hope this is very very clear to every one. Okay so now let's write for the next one we have plus 3 upon 10. Okay, now please don't make the mistake of eagerly cancelling things like this becomes 4, this becomes 5. Nobody is going to give you medals for this. Okay, please understand. This is going to simply further, you know, mess things for you. Okay, so now see, understand, whenever you have an addition and you have these same denominators, what you should do is you can directly add them. Okay, so here what happens is you are left with 1 upon 4 as it is plus 8 plus 3 that gets you 8 plus 3 that becomes your numerator and the denominator will be please don't make the mistake of adding the denominator okay there are people who end up doing that don't do that you can only add the numerator the denominator will be written just once okay so here you will get what 1 upon 4 plus 8 plus 3 is what 11 upon 10 okay now what you can do is you can take LCM. So now for those who think finding LCM is like a task or something like that, I'm going to take, give you an easier way out from this as well. You directly cross multiply. Since there are just two fractions, it's easier. So you will have what 10, 1 into 10 gets you 10 plus 4 into 11 gets you 44. Now in this case, your the denominator gets multiplied. Why? Because they are not same. Okay, if they were same, you just had to write it once. Here, I did not write 10 into 10, that is 100. Please understand. These are few silly, silly mistakes which a lot of people do. So, you will get 40. Now, you will get what? 10 plus 44 gets you, sorry, my bad, that gets you 54 upon 40. So, now when you cancel this, this becomes 20. And because both of them are even numbers, so at least they are going by... Uh, they will be divided by even number uh, 2 sorry so this will get you 27 so this gets you 27 upon 20 okay so that is actually can be written as what 1 7 upon 20 that is one way of writing this or you can also write this as nothing but what 1.35 okay either ways all your answers are correct okay now Coming back, like I said, I'm going to show you another method of doing this. Okay, so let me show you that particular method as well. Let's quickly write this one more time. So we have 1 upon 4 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 0.3. Now, instead of, you know, converting all of these decimals into fractions and then doing the LCM and then the addition and all of that, instead of doing that, just, you know, directly convert this fraction into decimal. So 1 upon 4 is nothing but what 0 0.25 and then you have 0 0.8 then you have 0 0.3 just add them so 5 is taken down directly 2 plus 8 gets you 10 10 plus 3 gets you 13 so 1 gets carried forward and your final answer is 1.35 literally you could do all of this in just one single step of addition okay. So please understand, both the methods are absolutely correct. Nobody is judging you for using that method or for using this method. Whatever, whatever. If this suits you, you should do this fine. And if this suits you, then you should do this 
okay my personal recommendation is to always do this because it's much much easier and you can literally do this in like you know fraction of seconds okay but if you are literally very very new and you're trying to practice and all of that then i suggest you can go back to the first method because that gives you the concept of lcm as well okay now before i forget you must be wondering why did i do this one upon 4 plus 11 upon 10 we had right why didn't i do lcm yes you can do lcm now how do you do this 4 and 10 so 2 is common so 2 and 5 so obviously both are prime so we'll write 2 and 5 directly so now here in this case your lcm becomes 2 into 2 that gets you 4 into 5 gets you 20 so this becomes your lcm now if this is your lcm so in order to make this 4 as 20 you will multiply by 5 both the numerators as well as the denominator so you will get 5 into 1 which is 5 and here in order to multiply to get your 10 to 20 you will multiply by 2 okay so that gets you 22 11 into 2 that gets you 22 so final answer comes out to be 27 upon 20 that is nothing but just 1 7 upon 20 or it can be written as 1.35 both the answer, both the ways are absolutely correct. I've seen a lot of students or a lot of teachers, uh, you know, saying that no, no, you have to always do the LCM and all of that. Yes, it is better if you can find out the LCM and everything because LCM is one concept which is like going to be like evergreen. If you're doing any kind of math, your LCM has to be strong. But just in case, if you can't remember this doing this step and if you directly multiply like I had shown you, you directly cross multiply that is also not wrong all you have to remember all you have to do is that you have to remember this step of cancellation okay if you don't do this step then yes things might get tricky because imagine if you had to figure out what is 54 divided by 40 things get a bit tricky okay so just remember this single step that when you are not interested in finding the lcm if you're directly doing this cross multiplication thing, then please remember there might be a chance that in the final step, things might get cancelled. Okay, that's just literally it. Apart from this, both all the methods are absolutely fine. I'm just covering all the bases because there are a lot of videos where I teach you one method which I think is much easier. A lot of students say, Acha, what if I, I had done it this way? What if I had done it that way? No, please remember all the methods are fine. Whatever suits you, works for you. You should always follow it to the T. So now time for your DIY. Please tell me what is 1 upon 2 plus 3 upon 4 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7. Please let me know your answers in the comment section. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.